today's video we're gonna be doing gift ideas for this year's christmas so let's not waste any time and let's get right into it by the way this list is not gonna be in order of price it's just gonna be random so yes starting with number one we have the massage machine gun now there's one that i specifically wanted and this is for all my ladies and guys that have back pain and even if not a massage machine gun you can't go wrong with it okay the hyper bowl so the one that i have on my list that i have as a wish list is the hyper bowl plus now this one is 229 dollars of course it's going to be a range of price between massage guns so it all just really depends on your preference so i highly suggest that you guys look at the reviews and do your reviews on the massage guns before you make that commitment or give it to somebody else okay number two this is for all of my gamers simply just a headset you know our headsets break all the time and some that we buy are cheap when we first start gaming but once we really get into it we might want to invest in a good headset so do your reviews with this one as well if you want to give a good nice comfortable headset for your ears especially if you're going to be gaming for hours that'd be really nice maybe get a headset with like a specific decor on it you know i've seen some really really cute headsets but also keep in mind the quality that you're going to be getting if it's wireless wired you know keep those things in mind when deciding on what headset to buy number three is basic you know we have uh, jewelry for example, I have here a necklace. And for this video, I do want to include a lot of small businesses just because we do know about all the big businesses. Let's support small businesses. So yes, we're gonna be doing a lot of that in this video. So the website that I chose for this necklace jewelry is Sheen Jewel. I will link that down below and I'll put it on the screen as well. Sheen Jewel and they also have a website, Sheen Jewel. S-H-E-E-N Jewel.com. I'll just put it on the screen somewhere over here so you guys can see all the cute pieces that they have. I haven't looked at the reviews so hopefully they are reliable. That is one thing guys, make sure that if you are supporting small businesses, no offense to them, but I have gotten ripped off before so just be very, very cautious okay going with number four this is for everybody that doesn't like the cold and it's just too much and even when it's not cold like sometimes you just want to be cozy a heated blanket heated blankets they can range in price but for the most part i'd say they're pretty affordable unless i don't know you're getting it from ug or something so yes a heated blanket is always nice and even just a blanket like a blanket is always oh like anytime i get a, a blanket as a gift i love it for number five i did put socks socks and underwear are pretty underrated when it comes to gifting i'm telling you especially for men listen men always need socks and men always need underwear so you cannot go wrong with socks i'm not saying that's the only gift you're gonna get though i'm just saying these are on the list for gifts that you can get them for christmas because they need socks they need socks because they're not gonna go out and shop for them so ladies this is this is upon you to do it get them some socks some white or black socks can't go wrong neutral colors can't go wrong hey and hey if you find out that they like fussy socks or even for girls fussy socks for girls we love fussy socks so yes target has some really nice ones i know five below sells some you know what everybody's selling fussy socks okay so fussy socks can't go wrong with them and going on to number six a heating pad it is that time of the month for me ladies and even guys when you're in pain and your back is hurting or you're in your period a heating pad makes things so much better definitely 10 10 recommend a heating pad and i did also link a good heating pad on my amazon storefront so if you do want to check that out you're kindly to do so when you get a heating pad please look at the reviews because some of them can be dangerous like if you get a really cheap one that can be dangerous i mean i'm just i'm just being honest so I use the heating pad once every month because, you know, when it's that time of the month, I love to use my heating pad. So it's definitely an investment, so I would say to get a good heating pad. And there's actually a lot of people that don't know about heating pads. It could always be great to gift 
that to somebody that's always in pain and always make sure you get one that has uh, a good variety of heat selections because just one selection of heat that's just not gonna cut it and since we're on this topic I actually have a heating pad so I'm gonna pop it out real quick and show you guys so this one that I have right here is actually pretty old but I always wash it you can pop this out yes you guys can see you can pop this out and wash it so yes that's nice and then boom put it back in whenever you're done and this is what I was talking about the different heating options this one's from the brand soft heat um, but I am kind of in the market to get a new one just because this one is pretty old so you have three intensities low medium and then high i always 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 go to high okay i mean you don't have to i'm just saying these are the options for this one so yes this is a lovely heating pad you can also use it in the front you can use it in the back and you just lay here and it feels amazing it's it's truly life-changing and it's definitely worth the money so ladies invest going on to number seven I have a yearly journal slash planner I know it's so hard to commit to a journal or diaries or anything like that diaries or whatever a yearly journal where you're trying to keep track and lay out what you're gonna do for 2023 it's really nice to have a journal jot all that down because there's only so much you can keep in your head before you forget so there's actually a small business on TikTok that sells yearly journals but I can't find it so I will We'll link it down below as well number eight a candle you cannot go wrong with a candle but it is crucial to know what kind of scent that person likes because if you get the opposite of what they like obviously they're not going to tell you to, to your face that they don't like you but i mean just get the right scent okay and for these i actually have several candles that you guys could purchase online or you can also there's another idea you can also just go to a place with them and make a candle and they can make their own candle so that kind of puts away the pressure of you getting the right scent if you don't know what smells they like and you can just go with them and that could be a whole fun idea and date with them the candles that i have listed are urban soy candle that's one i have bonita fierce candles I have 111 Manifest and Mason Glow. And Mason Glow is from ASMR Glow. I love her so much. I watch her in ASMR to go to sleep. So, yes. Check those out. Going on to number nine. A lava lamp. I don't know. I, I haven't seen people actually use lava lamps anymore. But, hey. If you want to give that to somebody. And it could be like a cool. If they're in college or something. I think a lava lamp would be pretty. I actually was thinking about getting my own lava lamp. Ever since I was little, I've always wanted one, so hey, maybe somebody else could get a good use out of a lava lamp. I think it's pretty cool how it looks. I just, I like it. It's, I like it. I like it. Number 10. These are very popular now. An air fryer. You can't go wrong with the air fryer, okay? I decided to get one and I have the Ninja air fryer and it is life changing. For one, I am a lazy cooker. Yes, I don't care. I don't like to cook. It's so convenient to just pop some food in the air fryer and just cook it and I can just walk away. And actually, surprisingly, I was concerned that the air fryer wouldn't be as good and it wouldn't cook as well. But no, actually, you need to be careful because that thing gets hot. Don't underestimate it, okay? Depending on the brand as well, do your research on the air fryer. Our air fryer could be a great gift idea. Number 11 a vacuum all my ladies that love to clean i know you have a vacuum on your wish list don't lie to me i know you do so if somebody knows what vacuum you want or when you're gifting a vacuum get an idea what vacuum they want because a vacuum is very like you can't just get any vacuum okay don't get it and when i'm when i'm talking vacuum i'm talking expensive vacuum like there's gonna be one gift and one gift only because a vacuum is gonna be expensive like the dyson okay the vacuum that i have on here for ideas because apparently everybody likes this vacuum tenco floor one is the s5 smart cordless wet dry vacuum cleaner so it's a two-on-one type of cleaner and it's 500 dollars. so like i said this would be the one gift of one gift only number 12 a nintendo switch i actually have one and it's pretty fun but just make sure that when you're gifting this the person's actually going to get a good use out of this and they're going to play because you know just like the nintendo ds and any other games you can get tired of it quickly so unless they really really want the nintendo switch don't get it for them because 
they're probably not gonna get a good use out of it. I mean, it's, the, the Nintendo is just for fun mainly. That could be fun for anybody that's a content creator. You can always, I don't know if you guys seen the videos on TikTok where they're playing Mario Kart, Mario Bros, and they're streaming that. So that could be fun as well. Playing Mario. Well, there's so many games that you get that you can get on the Nintendo Switch, and you can also play with friends, but they are pricey. Number 13 is an Apple Watch. I would suggest if this person's a runner and they always like to keep track of their health, I think it would be a good gift idea to give them an Apple Watch because you can track your sleep, your patterns, your running. You can do so much on the Apple Watch that I would say is worth it for somebody like that. But also make sure to know what having an Apple Watch entails because it's not just that price that you pay for an Apple Watch, but if you also want to have it um, receive messages and stuff like that that is going to be another expense added to it. i'm not saying you're going to pay for that i'm just saying that whoever you gift it to hopefully they know that it's more than just hey it's just going to be my watch no like the watch even when you get the watch it's going to be some money so yes keep that in mind number 14 a fake plant fake plants are so expensive but then again it's a fake plant and that's i see it as an investment because you're gonna have it forever whereas if you were to get a real plant unless you're a good plant mom or plant dad and you can't keep those plants alive which most of us can't so a fake plant you can't go wrong with that a nice big fake plant is about 75 to 100 dollars so that could be a nice gift idea maybe deliver it to their home just get a feel of what kind of plants they like because that's another one that's like hit or miss number 15 i decided to be basic with this one you know we also have to include all the basic ideas that you can still do it and are still great to gift just a basic gift card a food gift card of their favorite restaurant find out what their favorite restaurant is and just gift them a 50 to 100 gift card depending on how expensive the restaurant is number 16 is a diy of 100 reasons why it could be your 100 reasons why i love you for example i did that couple years ago and it was super fun but it was actually hard not that i don't love this person but it's just hard to come up with a hundred reasons why i love you so that was actually pretty fun if i could show you guys i would but i don't have it with me but that's actually a really fun gift idea and it's unique that cannot be replaced just get a jar and decorate it and cut little bits of paper and just number it every reason why you love this person if i were you i would do the numbers because if you don't you could forget whether or not you did 100 or not i have a bad memory so that's why number 17 is an apple charge and i'm not talking the cheap 20 dollars ones which no disrespect if you have that one but i'm talking about the fast 40 dollars charger and y'all know it comes separately you buy the extension separately and the plug separate so i know we don't want to spend that money ourselves so it would be great if we purchase that for somebody else and gift it to somebody else the charger is like chef's kiss it charges super super fast so if you if you know somebody that's always on their phone and they don't really have a lot of time to charge their phone and you've always seemed to catch them and their phone's about to die just get them the fast apple charger they're gonna be think they're gonna love you for life they're gonna be so happy that you helped them and got them this apple charger you'd be surprised i've shown you guys this charger in my last couple videos and i'm telling you so like i said boom you buy this separate and then you buy the cord separate y'all know how apple is i'm not surprised you shouldn't be surprised either but when i tell you when you plug this so my my battery right now it's at 43 percent and if i were to charge this plug it into the wall if i give it 30 minutes before i have to head out let's say this the phone is going to be at 70 percent. so highly recommend you invest in one of these and gift them number 18 maybe you have a teenage daughter or someone that likes to travel how about a polaroid camera the one thing about the polaroid cameras is of course you have to buy the film and it can get a little pricey that's why i have yet to buy the polaroid camera but i've always wanted i think those could be really fun for photogenic people people that just you know we all like taking pictures i feel like a polaroid camera just adds like that unique effect and you get the little film and it's just unique you know you can't go wrong with a polaroid camera definitely and since black friday is coming up that could be a great deal with the films added so be on the lookout for that number 19 this one i'm not sure if everybody everybody knows but i mean it's 2022 i'm pretty sure we do a fire stick we don't use cable anymore at least i don't and so a fire stick is great an amazon fire stick to be exact 
I bought this one years ago and this one is in my bedroom this is the older version and then I also have this one in my living room this one is the newer version as you see it has more buttons more things more added features so definitely invest in a fire stick you cannot go wrong with a fire stick and they also have great deals for Black Friday so be on the lookout for that as well number 20 this is for all the ladies that love bath bombs you can gift lush bath bombs you can give several Lush bath bombs. A lot of people love bath bombs and they can be soothing, calming. There's just so many things that people like about them. Number 21, let's say you live in a small apartment or you just don't have the room for a TV in your apartment or wherever you live in. A projector is always nice. That little box that you just have the wall clear for, boom. Projector that you use as a TV, you can't go wrong with that. And then you can always put it away so it saves you the space and you don't have to spend TV money. But projectors, don't get me wrong, projectors can be quite expensive as well. 22, a perfume. And to be more specific, a nice perfume that they like, that you know what scents they like, a specific perfume that they like. Because everybody's taste is different. Some people like a more floral smell, they like a more strong smell, manly smell, whatever they like. Be sure to know that. And if not, just like the candle, you can also just take them to a place where they can make their own perfume, which is also fun as well. Number 23, a Revlon hair brush dryer. Or, y'all don't want to talk about that little one thing that strains your hair that's really, really expensive. So, this can always be the time to gift that. Number 24 is a comforter set. I don't know about you, but I love me a nice comforter. But the thing about it is, you can either get a cheap one that's not going to last you a long time, or you can get an expensive one that's going to last you for years. And with that being said, it's hard to invest in that because it's like, uh, it's just like something that you want to do, but it's kind of tedious to do. So it's always nice to just gift somebody a comforter set, you know, if it's really comfortable and you know what color they like. Most people go for a white neutral, you know, just keep in mind what their preference of color is can't go wrong with red either but you just know that if you want to get them a good comforter set you're going to be spending a lot of money so and also do your research on comforters too because i would hate for you to buy a bad comforter number 25 you can gift them an iphone case sheen actually has a lot of good cool cases for an affordable price so this one's from sheen and i have a couple other ones that are pretty cool that you can also get from sheen for less than five dollars i believe also you can gift them an airpod case which could be nice too because a lot of people lose their airpods and their case so it's always nice to just gift them an airpod case it's kind of like a keychain and they could just click that in with their keys and boom no more losing airpod cases and i actually have two small businesses that i would like to include for the possibility of maybe getting the iphone case or the airpod case i have blunt cases and bailey hikawa bailey hikawa number 26 a star protector it's really nice at night you turn off the lights and it just looks like the sky and all the stars it's really beautiful if you want to give that to your friend that just had a baby or even just for you honestly hey we don't judge over here a star projector could be a nice gift idea number 27 you can either gift a purse or a wallet or both depending on the price you know there's really affordable purses really expensive purses you know so it's just up to whoever you're gifting it and what their preferences and their brand etc you know a uh, coach is actually coming back now so maybe if you want to give somebody a coach bag number 28 a lot of people walk around the house with just their shoes that they walk with every day. Why not just give them house slippers? Some comfortable, nice house slippers. Can't go wrong. You can either get Uggs or very affordable slippers that can be just as comfortable. Number 29. This one's kind of just random, but I want to put it in there just because I feel like I would want that gift to me. I wouldn't mind. A wall clock. And I mean those cool wall clocks now that are very popular. I don't know if you guys have seen, but I'll include a picture of the kind of clock i'm talking about but even just a classical clock i don't know to me it's just something about an elegant nice clock that i am like i like that and i don't feel like i see people with clocks anymore people don't have clocks 
up in their home anymore, which is fine. Maybe you know somebody that likes looking at the time. Number 30, a food container set. And I'm not talking the cheap ones, I'm talking the good brands like Pyrex, I believe, and glass. Yes, a glass container, a glass food container set. Those are the ones that are very durable and you don't have that issue with, oh, this won't fit and this and that. And to just stick to one food brand of containers, that is the best. That is something I plan to do in the future. Just invest in a good food container set. Make sure it is glass and make sure it's just one brand because then you don't have that issue of, oh, this lid is for this other brand. Like, no, 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 no. Let's cut that off right there and just do one brand. Number 31, we have a shower Bluetooth speaker. Please do not get them from a cheap website don't get them from sheen don't get them from a bad website listen i've learned i've learned that those will not last you yes they are very cheap but that's why they won't last so get a good shower speaker you know or if not if they don't mind for it to be out the shower get them a a google or an alexa you know those speakers or they can play music out of that that could be really nice as well but a shower speaker is really nice because you can just Boom, stick that in the shower and you can also control the music, the volume. If you know somebody that's a music lover, that could be a really cool gift idea. Number 32, a kitchen knife set. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen the aesthetic knife sets that they have been showing on Amazon. You guys saw that I did get something like that for my kitchen. But you can also get a bigger set. You get scissors and other accessories for your kitchen knife set. So a kitchen knife set can be very, very expensive as well. So that could be a nice gift to give somebody if you know somebody in the family is a chef or one of your friends is a chef. A gift set. Come on. Number 33. A squishy marshmallow pillow or plushies. I don't know if they're the same thing or not, but I put that down on the list as the same thing. I'm so sorry if it's not the same thing. I don't know too much about the marshmallow pillows or the plushies, but I do know that a lot of people like these and I believe a lot of people like to collect them. Regardless of the reason behind it is, a lot of people are buying these marshmallow and plushies. So if you want to give them to somebody, that could be a really, really nice gift idea. Number 34, another food item, cookware set. Can't go wrong with that. Get some pans, get some pots. A good brand that'll last for years. Another investment that some of us just don't want to do. So if it's, it's always great when somebody else can gift it to us and we can value and cherish that. And whenever we cook, we can think about you. So that could be really nice number 35 a tripod if you know your friends a content creator or if not you know a lot of us are making tiktoks and stuff like that it is always nice to get a tripod to hold our camera up or our phone or both and it's just really convenient you can put it and adjust it and yes tripods can be very expensive but even just a starting tripod is always great i do have several tripods that i have that I definitely recommend linked in my Amazon storefront. So if you want to check that out, please do so. Number 36, a ring light. I'm actually using a ring light right now. That is why it looks so bright. I'm filming this video at night. So a ring light can really, really be a great investment because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the lighting in my apartment is not the best. So it's so great that I can just pop this ring light out and turn it on and it looks like it's seven o'clock in the morning. This ring light is so, so bright. I mean, it is so life-changing. I mean, just, it's crazy. So, definitely invest in a ring light. Yes, they can be pricey as well. And please be sure to make sure you read the reviews for ring lights as well because there can be some good and bad ones out there. I prefer the ones that you that has a little remote. So, that's that's really clutch and convenient. Number 37, a SIM card. Another thing for your content creating friends. I initially started making videos with just one and I've built my SIM card collection and gotten more. I prefer 128 gigabytes of a SIM card or more. That's always a great gift idea. Please, 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 when you're, whenever you're gifting a SIM card and you're getting off of Amazon or somewhere that's not like Best Buy, or or a place where they sell electronics please be sure to read their reviews because a lot of these sim cards are not that good so just be careful with what you buy out there whenever you run out of storage using one card you can always pop it out and pull and 
pull out a whole new sim card and that is great number 38 this is for the ladies that love makeup a makeup brush set morphe sells some really great brush sets for a very affordable price and um, on black friday they always have some great deals but honestly all year round they have really really great deals number 39 this is something I have been looking into, but uh, this is just something that I don't want to buy myself. So a luggage set is always a great idea because I don't want to buy a luggage myself. And I see the prices and I'm not too happy about it. I'm not, I'm not interested in buying that. If you know somebody that travels a lot, number 40, Uno cards. Obviously, this wouldn't be the only gift that you get them, but it would just be one of them that you add. Uno cards, Cards Against Humanity, Monopoly, just games. I feel like we don't really play games anymore and everybody's just on their phone. So if you know somebody that loves to play games or does family game nights, Uno night is crucial. If you don't have Uno, Uno, what are you doing? Monopoly, it's a must. And 42 was going to be Cards Against Humanity, but since I already mentioned that, number 43, an O-Seater mop or O-Setter, however you say it. You know, I want to talk about that mop that everybody likes. I actually, I was looking at it for years and then I decided, decided to get it. And tell me why, the month that after I got the O-Seater mop, they came up with the new O-Seater mop version. So, yes, now they have, there's a new O-Seater mop and there's an old O-Seater mop. And the difference is the bucket and I believe some other stuff. But just look into it. If you know one of your friends likes to clean a lot, an O-Seater mop is very convenient. Number 44. If you're thinking about getting your girl this or maybe your man. I don't know if it matters if it's man or woman. But a promise ring. It's very sweet. You can get a nice promise ring. A Pandora. Nothing too expensive but something nice. Number 45. We hate, hate, hate cleaning our shoes. Do you know somebody that's obsessed with shoes and is always struggling to clean them? Well, help them worry less by getting them a shoe cleaning kit. And yes, you can try to find methods to clean your shoes, but it always takes a long time and it's not something that we wanna do. Like, I hate cleaning my shoes. I have shoes that I put in my bathroom to clean and they're, they have still yet to be cleaned. It's been like a month now, so. Let's be real, I don't like cleaning my shoes, so. If I can get a, a shoe cleaning kit, that would be great. But am I going to buy it? No. So if you can get that to somebody, that would be great. And actually, I have a brand that I want to mention. I have Reshoe E V N A R. I will link that down below and on the screen because I suck at this. So yes, that brand, check them out for a good shoe cleaning kit. Number 46 is the LED string lights. You know, those lights that everybody puts in their room, in the background, or in the living room, or sort of sticky that you can put behind your TV, and you can use the remote, and you can change the colors. Yes, those lights, this is the ones that I'm talking about. You can either give them the ones that hang, or you can give them the sticky ones that you can put behind your TV. I think it's really cute. And it's a nice uh, movie night idea. Number 47, an artificial greenery wall. Now with this one, you would have to be careful because for one, the way I say you guys would go about this if you are going to give a greenery wall to somebody is you just buy them like, uh, like a big two packs of this for them and that is very expensive because I believe just like a one pack of them is like a hundred and something dollars if you want to get a good greener wall that looks really nice if you want to get a cheap one you can go ahead but it's not going to look as good but if you get a big one and you get like a two pack it's going to be about two hundred dollars so yes you can always give that to somebody maybe your friend just started a business and she wants to do a green wall that would be really really nice a lot of people are doing that and I think it just looks beautiful and if you do it just for your home it could always be very beautiful and that could be the place where you take selfies number 48 a lottery ticket Can you imagine that you give somebody a lottery ticket and they win the lottery that would be crazy but it could be possible a lot of people like the lottery and gambling so why not just give them a lottery ticket for fun number 49 is for all my ladies and guys as well a self-defense keychain and the brand that I have down for this is Invisaware. Invisaware has great deals for self-defense keychains and they also have other stuff as well so please be sure to check them out. Please protect yourself guys because it is getting crazy out here. A self-defense keychain is a must. Number 50. 
a puzzle. It's nothing you can't go wrong with a puzzle. And me personally, I, I like a big, large puzzle, a hard puzzle, a thousand piece puzzle. But if you're just starting, a good 500 piece puzzle can also be nice. Hobby Lobby has great deals for good, nice puzzles. All right, you guys, we have five more left. I'm gonna just be doing 55 because I do have a big, big list for gift ideas. So if you guys wanna see a part two, let me know. 51. If you have a friend that's going into nursing or just likes to know the anatomy of the body and they're into coloring, but they also like science, maybe an anatomy coloring book could be a cool gift idea. Not only do you learn, but it could also be fun. Number 52, for all the coffee lovers out there, a Keurig. A lot of people want a Keurig, but do you want to pay the price for a Keurig? No. So a Keurig could always be a great gift idea. 53. I don't know if anybody else has heard about this, but they sell a levitating plant. What what am I what, what are you talking about, Sophia? Yes, exactly what I said, a levitating plant. The plant, I have a link to my Amazon storefront. It is a plant that literally levitates on top of a shelf. It is three hundred dollars, but it looks pretty sick. So check that out. Number fifty-four. This is for all the men or the hardworking ladies that like to repair things by themselves. A toolkit. I don't know if you know, but toolkits can be very, very expensive. But it can also be a great investment. So if you want to go ahead and gift your man or your lady a toolkit. Number 55. A massage. <sighs> Last year, I was gifted a massage to Massage Envy, and when I tell you, I could not have been happier. That massage was life-changing. I got that massage done on my birthday. It was so, so nice. I was gifted one for 60 minutes, but I recommend that you gift them one for 90 minutes because those 60 minutes fly like that. It was so, so good, and I felt so relaxed, and you won't believe how much all of us, all of us, we all need a massage. We all, all need a massage, okay? Drop what you're doing, go get a massage membership because we need a massage. Oh my God. Massages are great. And at Massage Envy, you can personalize what areas you want to be treated for. So that's always great. All right, you guys, that is it for today's gift ideas. If you enjoyed the video and you guys want to see a part two, make sure you comment down below. And let me know if you guys are going to use any of these gift ideas that I have mentioned. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you tell your mom, your auntie, your family, your cousin, everybody that you know. So I can keep making more videos for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!